Hi, my name is Eberechi Igwe from Eric's Academy of Fashion. I'm the writer of the book, Pattern Making for the Shapely African Woman. So on today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to couple this brand new sewing machine. It's a new product from China. It's very good. It's very durable. It sews lacquer and other thick fabric. So it's actually the best machine I've used in a very, very long time. It seems a lot more durable than Butterfly Beautiful because the new Butterfly products are not as durable as this new product. So they practically have a lot to prove. So they have to make their product stronger and better. So for this particular machine, the first thing you get to do is to cut open the stuff used in tying the cotton. You can use a plier to cut it open or you can just use a scissors to cut it open. When you cut it open, you can see the direction of the arrow. That's how you get to place your machine with the arrow pointing upwards. So after cutting it open, this is what you will see. You can use a razor or a cutter or even scissors to, to open up the seal when you open it first of all you turn it to the side you turn it facing you turn it to face you you bend the carton to face you after you bend it you now turn the machine upside down Okay, so you bring out the carton and then you can now start bringing out the cushion that was used in holding it together in the carton. So this is the toolbox. The white container is a toolbox. So it has machine oil inside. Then this paper written model JA is the directions for use and instructions so you do well to read it before you actually start using your machine very well it would help prevent a lot of problems along the way so now you've gotten to this point you gradually take up the cushion the balance wheel is just this black round stuff behind so the balance wheel usually doesn't come attached to the main machine so when you order when you order this machine well um you can when you order this machine you wouldn't need to call someone to assemble it for you you can fix the balance wheel yourself and do the minor servicings too so you can order this machine from eric's academy of fashion 070 3211 three four seven four so we sell for we sell for retails we sell for wholesale so if you want to order up to 10 pieces we're going to give you a very huge discount but if you just want to order one we also give you at a discounted rate way lower than you would ever get from the market even though at the moment the product is not in the market it's very scarce it's a new product like i said so you turn to this side the part that houses the balance wheel okay so you can see how the machine comes you definitely won't be able to use it while it's still in this state so you'd work on fixing the balance wheel okay so you take the balance wheel and just fix it in there it automatically fits in but you need to lock this hole with this round washer you just need to lock it and okay so you bring out this it's like a lock and key mechanism you can see the shape on it okay so this locks up everything for the balance wheel this is actually practically the main engine of the machine the main control it moves the balance wheel so you take the stopper Okay, so you take it and fix in just make sure it's like a lock and key mechanism you make sure it fits into that shape so that it locks it and stops it from moving okay you can see fixing the shape so that's the first thing you get to do so you take this round stuff and screw it round so you screw it in a clockwise direction 
after you screw it you make sure it's very strong it's very tight the ba- once you're able to roll the balance wheel and it rolls alongside the balance wheel you know everything is okay so for you to make it tighter you just hit it with something to tighten it to fasten it to the balance wheel so that it will be able to move the balance wheel because this is the main stuff that moves the rod the pedal rod that now brings down the needle and all that so you have to when you now move the balance wheel it's able to move but when you don't fasten it well as you're moving the balance wheel it won't really move it will be running free wheel so there's a knot you just screw it in a clockwise direction then use your screwdriver to tighten it a lot more so that is how it's going to look so this is the main stuff you have to do on your machine before you start using then for the servicing For the servicing of the machine, you have to apply oil to different places, but you don't apply oil to the balance wheel. The balance, okay, so you can watch my video on different parts of a sewing machine and their uses so that you can better understand the terms I'm using. So the toolbox comes with machine oil, a small machine oil, but I already have this big one that you can get in the market for 200 or 250 so you just i just get to use that one so for the spool pin that's where you keep your thread still watch my video i'm going to send the link below so that you can see the different parts of the sewing machine and watch them so you place the spool pin they don't just leave it there you hit it with something so that it stays so it doesn't just fall off so when you're done doing that you're going to oil different parts of the sewing machine and you avoid oiling the balance wheel so that it doesn't get slippery so you come to this side unscrew it just a little bit don't remove the screw completely lift it a little bit then apply oil to your rods and all so typically for a sewing machine depending on the number the usage you can oil your sewing machine one to two times in a week depending on the usage if you use it a whole lot you can oil two times a week don't oil every single day so that your sewing machine parts do not wash so after oiling it you fix it back like so and you tighten the screw so this is actually the basic servicing that is done on machines before you start using them so you unscrew the back side then apply oil through the back also you bend it when you want to apply oil so that your so that you can take your oil container to the two sides just turn it to your two sides so that you can sprinkle oil and then it will go far as you oil you turn your balance wheel to ensure that the oil gets to move very easily so i have a video on this channel on how to on how to pedal a sewing machine on how to thread a sewing machine and to pedal a sewing machine i'm going to post the link alongside this video so just check the description box of this video and then you're going to get the link to pedal your brand new sewing machine so this is how it's going to look when you're done you can actually test it so from the company it's already tested and we're comfortable with the stitches so there's no need to necessarily test it. Thank you for watching. See you in the next training video. Remember to practice, practice, practice. It's been Eric's Academy of Fashion.